On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, let's go over some of the red flags you need to watch out for when you're shopping for a pre-built or custom PC. All that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello everyone, I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where we are very excited for the upcoming announcement of our DNA 3 GPUs on November 3rd. With that in mind, we're still holding off on making a whole bunch of recommendations on what to buy until we know the details on it, pricing in particular, because as we all know, if you don't have around a thousand dollars or more for your, just for your GPU, Nvidia doesn't care about you. And uh, secondly, there is a whole section of pricing and performance that's kind of left empty if you're not interested in Intel's new Arc GPUs. You can get some of them now from system integrators, but if you want something that's gonna be an in-between there, because those go up to about, you know, under $400, something above that that's gonna be higher in performance, yet not over $1,000 by default, $1,200 or more, then you need to get something from AMD. And if, AMD's RDNA 3 architecture is, is anything that it's, that, it's, that it's rumored to be, it's gonna be more efficient than 40 series NVIDIA cards, and it's gonna carry more performance and rasterization. Now, rumors are rumors, and rasterization can only get you so far with more games than ever taking up the technology of ray tracing, which is real-time calculations for light and shadows, reflections, things like that. And uh, more and more games are adopting that tech and it's, it can make a solid difference in the appearance of your gameplay. And I think we're all hoping that AMD's second generation hardware accelerated ray tracing is gonna be better than the first, which was, it, it was lackluster. The other thing though, with uh, so many people, and I gotta tell you, if I know this personally, because I, uh, in case you don't know, I stream on Twitch every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at around 8 p.m. Central Time, and I help people one-on-one -on -one through a queue system, find a system that is right for their budget, for their needs, and they have to answer some questions so I can get them exactly what's right for them, and just point them in the right direction. And so many people come in saying they wanna stream. Well, hopefully, AMD has paid attention to the boom in streaming over the last couple of years and decided to actually work on their encoder, which would be fantastic. AV1 encoding on our DNA 3 would be a game changer. And Nvidia set themselves up to be spiked on when it comes to price. So I'm very excited for what's coming up. I think it's gonna be, uh, I'm hoping that it's gonna be everything that we are all hoping for. What I'm going to try to do is have my very first stream on YouTube, which I've been streaming on Twitch for a long time. I'm actually a Twitch partner there, which means I can't multi-stream. I can't do both. I can't do both platforms. But I think my very first YouTube stream is going to be for the RDNA 3 announcement. So um, check my Twitter at Brayathorn. Once I figure out what the time is for that announcement, then I'm going to let all you guys know then so we can all meet up here on the channel and actually do a stream here for once. It'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so at Brayathorn, follow me there on Twitter or join the Discord and look at the announcements channel for announcements. Now, before we continue, I do need to let you know this video is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals. CDK Deals is an online marketplace that offers game keys for several different platforms and genuine software licenses at drastically reduced prices. You can even use code BRAID25 to get an additional 30% off. Here's how it works. Here we have an OEM license for Windows 10 Pro. Of course, all Windows 10 Home and Pro keys can be later upgraded to Windows 11 at no charge. Keep in mind that you'll need a new key if you build a new system or make major hardware changes. OEM keys cannot be used to upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Pro. So make sure you know which version you have installed. Here in the cart, you can use code BRAID25 to get an additional 30% off. So an OEM copy of Windows 10 Pro will drop from $22.72 to just $15.90. After your purchase is complete, click View Keys slash Codes. Click Get the Key and copy it. Then go to your Windows search bar, type out Activate, and click Activation Settings. My Windows install is already activated, so I'll be replacing it, but yours should just say Activate Windows. Paste in the key, click Activate, and you're done. Thank you, CDK Deals, for continuing to support the channel. Now, since we're not going to be doing any recommendations just yet, not till we hear what the pricing's gonna be on RDNA 3 and the, the launch date and all that, um, 
What we're gonna do is instead prepare you for it. What we're gonna go over are a few red flags to look for. Now, some of these are from companies that are good companies. That's just the honest truth. Some companies do some things well and other things not so well. Some of these red flags, you can still purchase something from that company, but just avoid those individual things. Some companies are just kind of bad top to bottom, so it's few and far between. Now, one old friend we haven't visited in a long time is NZXT Blood. NZXT Blood is, um, it was, was kind of a mainstay in early episodes of System Integrators Weekly. It sort of feels like the right thing to do to go back and check if they've changed anything. And what I want to look at is what I get asked about all the time in comments and on stream. What do you think about like the starter series? What do you think about the pre-configured systems there? Let's hop on over to nzxt.com and uh, see what we got. What I really want to look at is now that they have so many options for airflow, a whole three options for airflow uh, cases, I want to see if they've just turned around and incorporated those into their pre-configured PCs where you can't customize anything. You can't change the case that's there. Let's take a look. Starter PC series. Up, oh, that's all the H510. Forget these. Streaming PC. Higher workload, higher heat output. Nope. Higher price. Look at this. Look at this. This is a $2,000 streaming pro PC. It's like the only options here to customize are adding more warranty uh, or getting more stuff. This is not, this is not, yeah. Tell me that, that that just screams high performance airflow to you, doesn't it? Right? No, no, it doesn't. You gotta know the creator PC is probably gonna have a massive GPU in there and a lot of cores in the CPU. It's gonna run really hot. So I'm sure that they, hmm. It's the, it's the, uh, the SH510 Elite. It exchanges the solid front panel for another more different solid front panel. So that's a, that's a big no. I mean, look, I mean, this guy right here, it's sold out, but what did it have in it? 12900K, 3090Ti. Uh, not the best anymore, but you know, okay, sure. Very hot running card. Lots of power going through that thing. So, NZXT, I like the direction y'all are going in, but when it comes to these, get good, son. All right, let's try, let's, let's look at their custom configurator real quick. But that, that right there, when I say red flag, I mean that that right there is outdated way outdated and um yeah you can do a case swap you can do a case migration if you want to but what are you gonna do with that old case it's just creating e-waste and uh you actually can't just pull off that front panel on the h510 like you can on most cases where you could just pull off a solid front panel and just get rid of it put it in the box that it came in just so you maybe have it for resale it's really frustrating so let's try a custom build and let's look at the cases here, H510, H510 Flow. So they do remember that they have it, so that's good. And there's the H5 Flow right here. That's the one recently reviewed um, by Gamers Nexus. Um, no, don't get that one. H7, don't get that one. But the H7 Flow, H710 is not bad, actually. You swap out that front panel for you, perforated front panel. You can just go on Etsy, you can find a bunch of them. So praise them many times over the fact that even during the shortages, they went out of their way to tell you exactly which GPUs you would be getting if you chose it. And what I don't get here is that there isn't a shortage right now. Why are the only choices a 3050, 3060, 3060 Ti, and a 3080? Why that? Okay, well, so what's this? Is this a different customizer? Is this a different configurator? Exclusive 4090 pre-built PC, open link in new tab. Let, let, let's see what that, what that is. Wait, whoa, what? $26.99? It is sold out. Cool. Cool story, bro. All right. Well, let's just, I'm sure they got this one. This one's definitely going to be, yeah, let's just do that because it's going to be a very pricey build. And we do that. Where does it take us? Um, right back to the same configurator with the exact same. That's on your front page, guys. What the heck? I understand they sold out everywhere, but most system integrators still have them. And if anything, they don't just say sold out or they don't just lead you to the configurator scratching your head like, but I thought, but they said, but they said on the thing. No, you put something like a lead time. So, you know, it's just kind of a mess right now. I, I, don't, I don't know, the website looks great though, guys. Looks really good. And I gotta say kudos on the new cases. Please use them more, okay. Uh, let's move on. And what we're gonna move on to now is, this is one we visited recently, Exotic PC. 
Exotic PC, I wanna like Exotic PC, but there was one big red flag, and that's what we're talking about, right? We're talking about red flags, things to watch out for. One thing that really bugs me is when a system integrator, and if you're with a system integrator and you know that you do this, do not do this. But when in order to get a low starting at price, they put ridiculous hardware that is not what it takes to make a gaming machine. And when I went through Exotic PC before, I gave them a big demerit for that. So let's see if that's changed. I, they've, they've never, re they still haven't reached out to me. They haven't talked to me or anything. So let's let's see if anything changed. I, I, I doubt it at this point, but let's let's take a look. 759, but no graphics card on, on this one, 5600G. That's what it's got. This one has a 5600G, but it also has a dedicated GPU with a 3050. Now, I'm not against this. I mean, I wish they would put, you know, good RAM. That'd be great. And not that Corsair makes bad, this is just, just slow RAM. And also really the A520M. Can you cheap out more on the motherboard? I'm really curious. You gotta pay attention to the details, guys. Now we're getting up to $2,000. You already mentioned this one. This is a 3060 Ti and a 7600X. And looking at the fact that it's X670 and not B650, I mean, this is an expensive platform to get into. And you're gonna have like maybe up to five years of socket support. So you can upgrade over that time to a different CPU. This system here, 2139, 3070 and a 12700K, not bad. You know, even gives an extra 100 watts on the power supply over the base recommended wattage uh, recommended by NVIDIA. All right, let's take a look at their advanced series, I guess. Let's take a look through here. Uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Imagine that, you know, say your parents tell you, all right, child, you're so many years old, go, you know, you're 13, 14, whatever years old, go and find yourself a PC. Let us know which one you want and we'll get it for you. And I'm like, wow, that'd be really cool, right? You're gonna look at this you're gonna see this and this and be like, they said I could spend up to a thousand dollars. I want this one. I want it to look like that. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna click on this. Uh, you, oh, you have to chip, select chipset. So there's a there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a, it's not exactly jumping right in, but let's say we go with um, a $1,370 um, 12th or 13th gen Intel system. Okay, let's just click that. All right, but you're trying to get through here. You're like, mom, get the credit card. And then you're like, okay, uh, sure, customize, add to cart, add to cart, okay. And then you're just like, okay, add to cart, I want it. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna run out, they're gonna run out. There is nothing here, still, nothing here saying that the, the picture shows optional hardware. And well, that you, like, that you have to choose these things. It looks like you can just, Hit add to cart and you're gonna get that. Red flag, 100%, because guess what you actually would get with this, okay? Skipping all else, what affects gaming the most? That's right, you would get an NVIDIA GeForce GT 1032 gigabyte. Hmm, an absolute beast. Ish. Emphasis on the ish. Yeah, no, that's that's not a gaming PC. But like try to boot up some Minecraft or something and it's just gonna be like, wait, do I have to limit it to like one chunk? Cool, here's my chunk. Yeah, no, don't, don't, don't do this. SIs, uh, exotic, don't do this. You get an eight inch LCD screen by default. Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, if you guys can, you know, Get your head out of your butts on this. I might like what you do and we could chat. Like, let me, let me learn more about you guys. But this tells me stuff that I, 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 I would rather not know about you. Moving on because I really want to move on because I'm very disappointed with that. Now this, I am mostly okay with Extreme PC Canada. So I want to give a shout out to Erica over at AMD. Thank you very much for pointing these guys out to me because it's good to know more system integrators in Canada, well, up to two now uh, that I know of. Uh, that aren't just like a computer store that um, can provide to more, like a larger audience. Previously, I thought it was just Quoted Tech, which Quoted Tech was super cool, by the way. And if all you gotta do is uh, actually check out my video about them right here. 
and uh, well, not about them, but you know where I talked about them right here. Uh, very cool, very cool company. Very cool uh, custom uh, configurator. One of my favorites that I've seen. Period. So what is a red flag here? I mean, <laughs> other than that one, am I right? Um, it's literally got red on it. All right, let me show you. Because just be prepared to catch your eyes as they roll clear out of your head. So they have some decent options um, for, for hardware, of course. Believe it or not, it's gonna be harder to get stuff in hardware in Canada than it is here. So we hit configure and it brings up the whole configurator and lo and behold, we can look, just look through it like this. We can see all these different cases that are in stock. You just look down here, you'll see what's in stock and what's not. And uh, there's quite a selection when it comes to cases, which I personally really like to see. As we move through these, you'll see different options and some decent ones too. And then you find an option that had me straight up just raging in, in, on stream. Uh, what is wrong with this picture? Just right off the bat, is why on earth would a professional or a professional company have different levels of assembly? Assembly, putting it together. It's literally just building a PC, guys. What do you mean bronze assembly? silver assembly with upgraded hardware assembly and optimized software install. What software? It's just an operating system. And then 200 Canadian more than this, by the way, to get gold assembly, which is advanced assembly. We tighten the screws on this one and enhanced software install. Uh, and then, hold up everybody, for the big ballers out there, okay, Elon, you listening? Platinum assembly, perfected hardware assembly, which you should have done when you started, when you trained your builders. Perfected hardware assembly. Because you're being paid for it. Huh. Am I being, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be offensive. It's just that this is offensive to me. And by the way, guys, remember, $100 Canadian is not $100 US, okay? Um, I don't care though. What really, really grinded my gears was like that this is automatically selected. They're just taking $100 Canadian, just taking it. If you don't notice this, because it wasn't expanded. Oh, we'll look at that in a second. It was on this one, when we arrived at our destination here. Meaning, they're just taking, just taking another $100 Canadian. You can go up to $400 Canadian for perfected hardware assembly. Just do it right. Don't extort people out of hundreds of dollars to do your freaking job. And overclocking? Okay, sure. You do know that other companies offer overclocking, right? Maybe 50 bucks, 75 bucks, maybe a hundred if it's both CPU and GPU, okay? Calm down. It cannot be that good. Besides which, let's check on the details so we can see exactly what they mean. Oh, guess what? There's nothing here. It says that it's in preparation. You're already paying for it. It does, they won't tell you what they mean but they will take your money. That is straight up underhanded and you need to stop this yesterday. It is not okay to straight up take money for consu from consumers in an option that is buried in a dropdown that people will straight up overlook because it's not hardware, not hardware related, and then not even describe what it is. Are you crazy? How do you think that's okay? Like nobody else. Nobody else does this. Nobody else does this but you. It's really gross. Right now, done with y'all. And, and whatever explanation you have for it, if you decide to explain yourselves, I don't want to hear it if this is still on the site. Okay, cool. I don't usually get like that. I really don't. It takes a lot. 
it takes, you know, taking money from people for nothing. I think it's a pretty good reason to sort of like say, yeah, I'm not, I'm really gonna talk about, you know, we are gonna talk about them and now we're done talking about them, okay? I think that's a pretty good reason because that's a scam. If you take money from someone and you give them nothing, that's the definition of a scam. There is no perceivable value here because you won't even explain yourself, yet it's a default. It is hard for someone who is just dying to get into, the, into PC gaming and has never messed with this before. It is hard for them to save money and just try to find an option, find there's all these options out there. Now in Canada, that's not the case. There are very few options, okay? So this is even worse because you're basically saying like, but ain't nobody else here. We can do whatever we want. No, you can't. Whatever you told yourself to say that this was okay, it's not enough because you, you took the time to make these graphics, to put the, to go into the back end and put these options in there and just straight up automatically take a hundred Canadian, but you couldn't be, couldn't be bothered to type a paragraph as to what it means. Basically, the, uh, some parts of the industry, some elements within the industry try to take advantage of the lack of knowledge and the discomfort with technology that a lot of people have. My goal is to help people overcome those feelings, like the, the lack of knowledge and the, and the, the fear, the sort of like that, man, I don't know, man, I just don't know about this stuff. You can. I'm not, I don't usually do the whole like, hey, just go and hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. I might say it now and then, I guess, but if you want to learn more about these things at a pace that's good for you, at, at my, my goal is I've been, I've been building PCs for over 20 years, 25, over 25 years in the IT industry, for a long time. If you want someone who will focus on helping you get past that hump of like, I just don't, I'm not comfortable with this stuff. Hit the subscribe button. I've got content coming up that's gonna help. And that, as soon as I saw things growing here, that was my goal. And I wanna help you avoid crap like that. Now, let's talk about a company that it seems to not be scamming anybody, uh, but had some controversy starting up. I did cover them earlier on and I was like, hey, they seem okay. Uh, but I had some 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 problems with them. But they have fixed some of those already. And we're talking about um, Penis Rocket Computer Company. Papa Linus said it. Guys, I'm sorry. Papa Linus said. Do you deny that this is no, a rocket? No, it's clearly rocket. a penis rocket. Okay. Okay, go look at Ironside. That's what a hammer looks like. Yeah, Star Forge Systems. And uh, yes, except. And one thing was like, I was like, every PC is called the Horizon. Come on. Well, they figured out name number two for six PCs, by the way. Uh, so now they have the Horizon and the Voyager. And uh, so six systems with two names. Not confusing at all, but hey, that's just a nitpick. When I talk about a red flag though, what I'm talking about is this. There are some sacrifices that can be made in the name of aesthetics, 100%. You know, you do something like, I mean, heck, if you do something like a, a custom loop, you're gonna have to put, there's times where you have to put in a, a pump reservoir combo and it's gonna, it means not putting in one fan or something. One fan's not gonna ruin your whole airflow design layout. Now, there's one thing you'll notice that the, on this system that you won't see in most O11 Dynamics and that's that really cool panel they have there that actually like flashes, it has LEDs in it and it has a Star Forge logo. Now, um, that logo designed by Star Forge and that's their logo or their, whoever they commissioned to design that, you know. Um, well, we all know what it looks like. That's, it's okay, it's okay. Anyway, um, that actually, that panel is actually designed by Candy Berry. Candy Berry's so good at this stuff and it looks super cool. However, there are better places for it. It should have been designed to either replace the front glass right here, which I think would look sick. By the way, that would look really, really cool, guys. Or cover up this kind of useless space back here. Because this intake right here is kind of critical when you have a 13900K and a 4090. This is an oven. So that's kind of my thing here. That's my thing is when large sacrifices in performance or even, performance isn't even the main thing here. We're also talking about longevity. The hotter this, this whole system stays, the more the fans run and fans can die, What's the first thing that goes out on a GPU? One of the fans. 
if they're constantly running, now the fans are the one thing getting fresh air all the time, but that means that you're getting 4090 exhausts as the only air to cool a 13900K. Do we see the problem here? It's an awesome design, I love it. Flip it around to the front panel, it will look awesome. And I know that you don't get to see inside that front panel then, but usually when you see a streamer's PC, because that's kind of what this is marketed to, it's on the side of them, you see to the side of it. You see, the, you see it anyway, it's still gonna display everything. Trust me, it's gonna look awesome. I highly recommend y'all do that. And I gotta say, Candy Berry, prime work, looks very cool. Um, but personally, I think that cutting out a third of the airflow and half of your intake with a system like this is, um, there's a better approach to it, I think, that's all. Uh, other than that, there's really good choices made in here. Uh, they use a good, a good motherboard here. Could have more USB, but really not bad. And it says Z790. Actually, the Tomahawk Wi-Fi Z790 is, is, is a good motherboard. Uh, but the A1000G, the PCIe 5, takes the A1000G, the original one, as a tier one gold recommendation from the Cultist Network PSU tier list. And they take that stellar power supply and add in the 12 VHPWR connector. So you don't have to worry about adapters. You have a full on connector. It has just dedicated wires. Everything should be good there. And 64 gigs of DDR5-6000. That is not cheap right there. And it's 64 gigs means that this is actually a creator PC. Also, by the way, to Starforge, Candy Berry does amazing wraps. So you could just opt for that instead and still have all of your airflow. When it comes to red flags, well, the whole website's red. I mean, it just tells you everything right there. I've gone over this. Click that if you want the whole story, because it's not just what companies do right now that can be red flags. Sometimes you need to know what they did in the past. I got very frustrated, but I had a lot to tell, a lot of a lot to go over, and none of it's been addressed as far as I know. They just like, well, we're doing better now. I don't care. It's you gotta, you have to fix what you did before. What I want to talk about are some of their PCs and some of the how they're not a good deal. Okay, there might be one or two here that's a good deal. I will say kudos for seemingly having a case here that has a front mesh. Not all of your cases do, but that's a, that's pretty common. And when you're looking at something that has hardware like a 10400 and an RTX 3050, that's kind of okay. But here we do have mesh. Good job. Anyway, so 10400, a couple generations back at least. 16 gigs DDR4, 3200, sure. 3050, good card for 1080p. Uh, 512 gig M.2. Now, let me tell you guys something. Back when I would talk to Caleb, the main drive I would see used on anything, they were all either hard drives or SATA SSDs, which are a lot slower than M.2 NVMe drives. And it wasn't until like sometime this year that they started commonly using M.2 drives. You would see 128 gig SATA SSDs. Um, it's really old tech, and it reminds me of how Digital Storm was using, um, they were using SATA interface M.2 drives and calling it their performance series, which is why I don't really talk about Digital Storm. Yes, January of this year, they changed over to having NVMe drives, but it was January of 2022. Um, also, note the motherboard. This is pretty much one of the cheapest, it's $89 Gigabyte H410M Pro. It's at least Pro. I mean, you got that going for you. No, it's, let's let's look at what this motherboard has to offer. Just slew of IO you got. Six is actually better. It's funny because six USB type A ports is better than what you get with a uh, Z690 Prime, Z690P board from ASUS. It doesn't even have VRM Heat sinks. This is the as cheap as you can go for 10th gen Intel. Do not expect to put a 10600K on here or 10700K on here and run it well. Uh, so what's a better option? Well, right here, look at the price. Price right here is $1,099, right? Oh, but wait, this one is $50 more than that. Well, you can use code RDY. That's not my code. That's just for, for iBuyPower right now to get that down to the same price, $1,100. And this one has an 
Intel Core i5 12400F, 12400F. Yes, the case doesn't have as much airflow as the other one, but still it is a, a 12400F and a 3050. Not super hot running hardware there. And it's a B660 board, um, but it is a full ATX. It's a full ATX board, 600 watt, 80 plus gold certified power supply already, 50 watts more, better certification. Uh, okay, it's gonna have wireless, it says, either PCIe or on board. Let's uh, move on to this system, the Light Magma PC V2. So this is ostensibly an improvement over V1. And it's a Ryzen 7 5700X, great processor, on a gigabyte B550 motherboard. Which one? We don't know, but it, you know, it's a B550, an RTX 3050, and a 750 watt gigabyte PSU, wait, hmm, gigabyte power supply. You know, they're being a bit vague as to which one that is. Maybe taking into consideration the fact that there were exploding gigabyte power supplies, you might have the presence of mind to be specific as to which one, which model you're using. This is called a catastrophic failure. So is this, and this. So people can know that they don't necessarily have to update their homeowner's insurance to include exploding electronics. This one comes with a 512 gig NVMe M.2 SSD and a one terabyte hard drive. Um, you have a Gamdias 120 millimeter RGB AIO, all in one liquid cooler, 120 millimeter fan, 120 millimeter radiator. Yeah, sure, that, that will, that'll, is a bit, a bit weak for a 5700X, but sure. But let's look at a good option, a good alternative for this, okay? If you spend about 50 bucks more, that's right here. And I say 50 bucks more, it's, it looks like 100, but remember, RDY, code RDY at checkout gets you 50 bucks off. And you have the 12600KF, which is a fantastic processor that can outperform the 5700X in many things. Oh, and this one has a 3060 Ti. Did I mention that? Because this one here, uh, that's a 3050. So instead of getting a terabyte and a half that most of it is very slow, you get a full terabyte of fast storage. I think that's preferable. Looking at the full spec, I do wanna check on the power supply. This is a 600 watt, 80 plus gold certified power supply. That's skirting the line. That's pretty much right at the minimum recommendation for a 3060 Ti, but still it's not a gigabyte power supply, 80 plus whatever. It can just pull off this front panel here and you will have that mesh dust filter that's right behind it that stays on with magnets and you're totally good to go. Leave it like that. So yeah, I would definitely go with this one over uh, a company that did things like the things you can hear about in that video that I referenced earlier. I don't have much to say about what Light's doing right now other than some poor decisions and some of the, the PCs and like some of the things aren't as good of a deal, period. I wanted to show you some things to look out for in systems like that and how you can compare them to other systems to make an educated decision and find a better deal. I can't sit idly by when I see something like that. There's no way. There, that, that, would be, that would mean I shouldn't have a channel. I shouldn't have an audience. I don't deserve you guys subscribing or watching or coming to the streams and hanging out and being awesome because I'm not really looking out for you like I'm supposed to. So there are times we're gonna have to get negative like that. And I really need you guys to look out for these kinds of things as we're getting into the final hardware release of this cycle. Good Lord, it's been exhausting. And I've had to take a step back from making straight up, hey, go buy it, go, you should maybe look at this. I don't ever really tell people, go buy this, go buy that. That's not my place. My place is to help you learn to look at stuff. Like, like okay, I, I know more about these, this hardware now. I kind of know what I should look for based on what I do. And there you go. We're gonna have a video where I'm gonna go into more detail on what you should look for depending on what you do. If you're gonna do gaming and streaming, here's what you should look for. If you're gonna do video editing, if you're gonna do 3D design, if you're gonna do, I don't know, I don't know much about crypto, like I'll look it up. <laughs> Whatever you're gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, for November, I'm gonna be putting together a guide on what to look for if that, because that's what we're based on. That's what we're doing. That's what we do in the streams is we look at that. We ask you what you're going to do with it. That is one of the main things that makes a recommendation for us. Okay. So keep an eye out for that. And um, yeah, I will see you guys on stream Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, Central Daylight Time, whatever it is, uh, at twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. And you can just take my name, put it into pretty much any social media. You'll find me there if you have a particular one you prefer. Though I'm probably not active on that one. Sorry. 
Anyway, thanks guys. I'm gonna call it here and um, until next time. Take care.